And our next wonder wonderful chef is with us. It's Jennifer Stops, who is a home chef this time. Yes. You sent in your recipe. Yes, I did. We want to thank you for thank being you. here. Tell thank us you. a little bit about yourself before we get started. Um, well, I'm a basically a stay-at-home mom, loves to cook, and I'm an independent kitchen consultant, and I oh, sell kitchen cool. gadgets. So you know your way around the kitchen then. I try. <laughs> and we've had a couple of main dishes, but now we're doing something a little bit different. This is a delicious jalapeno and crab dip. Yes. Because you said your husband really likes the spicy He food. likes things spicy. <laughs> So, well, let's get started. How do all we right. make it? Well, first thing you want to do is we're going to make our toasted bread. Um, and all we need to do is just slice it. And we've already got some already done up, so we're not going to actually have to bake it. We're just going to slice them up. And you're just going to drizzle olive oil and salt and pepper on it on both sides. And then bake them for about six minutes on each side at about 400. And what kind of bread do you like to use? Um, I like to use French bread. Mm -hmm. uh, but any kind's really good. You just kind of drizzle a little bit. Oops, that was a little much, but that's okay. Oh, so you don't even have to be too picky when no, you're No, no. And then just a little bit of pepper and salt. And you just bake those for six minutes and then flip them over and do another six. And then you're going to come up with a little toasty to serve on the, to serve on the bread. Dip. Well, those look good in themselves. Yes. Okay, so you do that part first. Yes. All right, and then it's just getting into make, to pouring and dumping. So first we're going <laughs> to chop. The dump recipes are the easy ones. Yes. First we're going to go ahead and chop some jalapenos, and just canned ones are fine. You can use fresh ones as well. Okay. And you can control the spice yes, with you can how add, many you use. Exactly. You want to go ahead and chop I'll that? Chop just these, keep chopping. If people don't like jalapenos, could you they make leave this it without? Out? Yeah, okay. it just won't so be spicy. Really We've got hot sauce that still goes in here. But this over. Now what we're going to do is take these. a pound of crab meat. And put it in a bowl. And is there a certain brand that you like to use? No, I just not imitation. Imitation's not all that good. It's too sweet. How about um, the difference between canned or fresh or frozen? You can use fresh. Actually, this originally was for fresh, but it's. I find it kind of hard to find the fresh fresh around here, so I just use you the need, canned. Which you is, need to call the blue ribbon. Exactly. Yes, I got his card earlier, so oh, we're going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> <laughs> good, just good. Broke up the crab meat a little bit, and we're going to put a half a cup of mayonnaise in here. Okay, let's see how those are. How's it looking? You got to be a little more oh, stressful here. Oh, so it's a it's good stress relief. stress relief. Yes, <laughs> that looks good then. Okay. And all we need to do is take this off of here and pour it in. Well, that's easy. It's about a half a cup. Okay. And remember, adjust it for the spiciness exactly, that you like. Exactly, exactly. And we're gonna press some garlic. You can use chopped garlic. That's what they originally called for, but I like using pressed garlic, fresh. Easily done. Mm. How many cloves do you like to put in? Um, well, it calls for a teaspoon, but I like a lot of garlic, so I'll use a lot. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're going to use about four. So how'd you come up with the recipe? Um, well, I had seen it, I had had it other places, but then I just kind of adjusted it for things we have around the house and all those good things. And then that's it. And so it's easily done. This is also good with chicken, too. We've been short on crab meat. And in the mood for something spicy dipped, and oh, you it with chicken. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Leftover chicken in your fridge works good. So, do you save this for parties, or I mean, do you just do it for your family if you're in the mood for a movie and something to both. snack Both. Both. Okay. Both. We've got, we've got some friends we get together with, and we make special things for all of us. So oh, that's a great that's idea. That's a good thing to do. <laughs> We're gonna put some Worcestershire sauce in, about a tablespoon. Well, I read somewhere that people were saying that's a lost art. People aren't getting together yes. and cooking for each other and spending time together. Yeah, we do so it you're a lot. We're the trend. We are. <laughs> we're trying at least. And this is a great way to do it with preparing different dishes for each other. Yes, that and would we, be a fun thing to yeah, start. we do themes and a couple of different things to make. Well, that sounds like a lot All of fun. All right, and let's see. I think we've got everything in here. Oh, except for the cheese. And you want to grate a little bit of that cheese there too. Okay. I'm just going to put Monterey Jack right cheese in here, it? right in here. Okay, Actually, what, what? It's gonna, this is a, a container here, so go ahead and just push down and grate, and then we'll pour it in. Okay, and is this Parmesan? What kind this is This is Parmesan. Okay. So I'm just going to grate the fresh Parmesan. Mm -hmm. oh, I do like your gadgets. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I had to put a little bit of that in, and then I put most of it on top then. Okay. And just kind of toss it a little bit. You don't want to toss it too much to break up the crab, but... You do want to get it mixed together. So you want the nice big crab pieces? Yes. Oh, yes, that that's half good. The... I know we're going to bake it, but do you, you know, could you just eat it without baking? Well, I do guess you, you could. could. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't like, done that. Oh, like, a, like a little crab salad. I guess I have the, it, it's supposed to be hot, so I always, that's what's got to be. <laughs> okay, that's good for that, and let's get, put a little bit on top. Okay. Or in here first, and then we're going to stir it up. So I need to do some more? Yeah, go ahead and do some more. 
just going to stir it up a little bit. And you can add as little or as much hot, hot sauce you want or the jalapenos to make it to taste. Okay. And really it's something that, other than the crab, you can put whatever you have around the house. It works out good. Because I've even used mozzarella for it instead of the Monterey Jack, too. Oh, great. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and put it in a pan, a baking pan. I don't know, am I getting enough here? Oh, yeah. yeah we, we might need to switch that around a little bit here. Okay. Sometimes the harder cheeses. There we go. There we go. And actually, what we'll do, since we've got it already in here, let's spread it out a little bit, and then we'll sprinkle it on top. Just put it in here, make it nice, look pretty. And... Wow, and this goes together on. really fast. It does. It definitely does. It's something that, you know, if you don't have the bread, you can serve it on crackers and stuff, too. You don't have to have the bread to do it with. And how many, I mean, would this serve a big party? I know it's so um, It rich. goes fast. It goes really fast, but it would serve, I mean, we have like six or eight people over, and it serves them easily, uh -huh. you know, when you serve other things, too, as okay. an appetizer. You just put this in the oven at 350 for um, about 20 minutes oh, until wow. it's nice and crusty. So it's, is it something you can put together and then put in the fridge and then when your guests get here just pull it out? Yes, put definitely. It in the oven definitely. Well that's what I did with the one for today. I did it I actually put it together last night. Put oh. it in the fridge and then just we just put it in the oven today. Okay. Again. So just put that in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then we end up with something that looks like this. Yeah. And this time I've noticed the first couple recipes we've run out of time for me to try it. <laughs> well this then you one, get to try I it today. To give this a try. But all you do is just take a little bit of your bread and just mix a little bit on top. Sounds tea. good. And there's one for you. Oh, and we'll thank you. Dish some up for. Let me try. Mm. How is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> Go back to Jennifer for a minute. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's really rich, and I usually don't like things too spicy. But really, the crab offsets the jalapeno. Yes. So that so it's not it's too a spicy. Real, yeah, it's, it's got a little kick, but mm -hmm. it's not overpowering. Yes. Oh, it's wonderful. So, and that's it. That's it. Mm, well, Very we're easy. Gonna send this over to Peg and to D. Okay. And it's a wonderful recipe included in our S is for Seafood Cookbook. Call the number at the bottom of your screen <laughs> to get Jennifer Stobbs jalapeno crab dip. I'm going to finish this. Jennifer, thanks for being Thank with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, we'll go back over to Peg and Dee, another winning recipe. <laughs> Call right now to get your copy. D, that looks Heck. fabulous. It does. I love jalapeno, love crab. I can't wait to taste to them together. Put them together. <laughs> yeah. And Jennifer, this went together so quickly. Yes, That's does. a wonderful you, thing. Jennifer. Is this what everybody asks for at parties? It does. They always ask for the recipe and wanting more. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> well, that's good. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much you. for being Thank with you. us. Thank it was you. wonderful. <laughs> well, Dee, do you want to try?